Hello everyone, this is Dan from Screaming Frog and this is the Screaming Frog SEO Spider. It's a desktop app for Windows, Mac or Linux and it allows you to crawl websites and analyze them for common SEO issues. Now it is a free tool for crawling up to 500 URLs. If you'd like to crawl more, access the configuration or advanced features like Google Analytics and Google Search Console integration, saving of crawls, crawl comparison, AI integration, and much more than you can buy an annual license. Now you can see the data that's being pulled in real time in this top window pane here. And over on the right, there's a crawl percentage. And in the bottom right, number of URLs completed and remaining to go as well. Now if I scroll over to the right in this main window pane, you can see the types of data that's being pulled in. So URLs, content type, status, status code, indexability, page titles, meta descriptions. Headings, H1s, H2s, meta robots, canonicals, the size of the page, the work count, the crawl depth, the in links, the out links, and lots of different data points that would be of interest to anybody who's analyzing a website or performing an SEO audit. Now, the data is also organized into various tabs by element at the top, and each of these tabs have their own filters that are later segment by type. So, for example, having a look at just HTML pages or images, or by issue as well. So if you're analyzing page titles, any of them missing, duplicated, particularly long or short page titles, and so on. You don't need to click into these tabs at the top and look in the filters to see if there's data in there. You can actually use the right-hand overview tab, and this updates in real time. You'll see these numbers going up in real time if there are issues. You can also use the right-hand issues tab as well to uncover data. What this does is it provides a prioritized view of issues found in the crawl. So for example, URLs blocked by robots.txt is a high priority, just because if this was by accident, it would obviously have a big impact on visibility. Actually, these are on purpose in this case. And that's why the issue type is a warning. So it's just saying this is a warning, something to check and make sure that you're happy with. And ditto for something like no index pages as well. As well. Again, this is on purpose, but if it wasn't, this would obviously have a major impact. And there's different opportunities and issues that it would pick out here, you know, images missing alt text or whatever it might be. You can pause the crawl at any time and click export. You can also use the bulk export or reports as well. And the main interface is actually really intuitive as well, and it works alongside this lower window pane. So for example, I was going to have a look at broken links. I can go down to client errors and I can find any broken links here. There's a 404 here to a Google support page. And if I click on the lower in links tab, I can see the page it's on and the anchor text, and whether the link's followed or no followed and the link position. I can see here that it's in the content as well. Now there's lots of different ways you can configure the crawl as well. Again, this is for page users, but there's lots of different ways to select a uh, different resource links and page types to crawl and different crawl behaviors, different things to extract, limits and rendering mode. If you wanted to call a JavaScript website, for example, there's different APIs. For example, you can connect to open API and set up a prompt against crawl data to ask it anything you like. You can also segment the crawl. There's authentication so you can log into websites and things like that. There's lots of different visualizations as well. Uh, there's a directory tree graph, for example, helps you visualize your website in different ways. A force directed version of that as well. And it helps you view the structure of your website. And these can be configured in different ways as well. There's also various different modes. So we're in spider mode, which will crawl the website. There's a list mode, so you can upload a list of URLs or download an XML sitemap. You can also compare crawls as well in compare mode. So if I go to file crawls and choose two crawls and click select to compare and then compare button at the top, it will analyze the data. And over on this right hand side, you can see the differences between the two crawls, where the URLs have changed, where the URLs have been added to report or removed from a report or whether they're new URLs um, and issues is the same as well. So you can click in here and see the progress. Now that's just a quick dive into the tool. There's lots to learn and lots more about the tool as well. We hope you like it. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.